What can we use for brain fog symptom relief? And does brain fog indicate CFO and SIBO exist together? So do we need antifungals? Or is, is it simply that SIBO alone can cause brain fog? Okay, so SIBO alone can cause brain fog. Um, uh, yeast overgrowth, CFO, also can cause brain fog and causes it even more so. But so unfortunately, if you have brain fog and you've really bad brain fog, you don't really know. Is it just the SIBO? You know, is it is it both or is it just CFO? You can't really tell by that one symptom. You know, if it's like really, really bad, then we might think it's not just SIBO. Maybe there's also um, the yeast overgrowth as well. Now, in terms of symptomatic relief, we, we talk about this each, each and every time. And Siobhan, you've suffered from a lot of brain fog and you talk about what has helped you, but there's no like fabulous things like, like, you know, there's anti-diarrheals. There aren't really any anti-brain foggers you know, <laughs> that are very clear. Um, anti-inflammatories work for some people. So that's anything from, you know, your, your classic NSAIDs like ibuprofen, et cetera. Um, to the natural options that do that, um, quercetin, bromelain, um, you know, all, you know, fish oil, all these things that can be anti-inflammatories. Another thing that can help is activated charcoal. That's probably my number one uh, option uh, to sop up whatever metabolites are going around that are, that are doing that. Uh, those are probably my, my main two things. And don't you like to recommend LDN? I do like LDN very much for that. Um, sleep for me really clears it up as well. Just something in my, just getting that sleep going in the water. Um, I know this is not very naturopathic, but sometimes I'll do an Advil PM if it's at night and I'm like, I got to wake up and have my act together. Mm -hmm. um, that actually happened to me last night because I had some acupuncture, which can, you know, stir up some stuff. And I got home and I was like, am I getting a headache? I just like start like a little, and I was really foggy. I was like, I need to sleep this off. And so I did an Advil PM and it really helped. I, that's, I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you what helped me, but I do like LDN for it a lot. And I have to stay hydrated. If I don't stay hydrated, it, the whole thing's over. So that's very simple. I mean, that's extremely yeah. naturopathic water and sleep. Yeah. I mean, when we look at why it happens in SIBO, it could be different for, for different reasons, but um, it does have to do with turning on inflammatory cytokines. And so that's why um, uh, anti-inflammatories as well as particularly ones that work well in the brain are good. So like that could be um, uh, curcumin, like turmeric and also resveratrol. They could be very good. But I don't have excellent uh, experience with patients having brain fog, taking these things and saying my brain fog went away. My experience is with treating the underlying condition, either the CFO, the SIBO, and then the brain fog gets better. That's, that's where I've really seen the results. Makes sense. Hi there, quick public service announcement. If you live in the US and you need any supplements, I wanted to let you know that I can offer you a discount through my full script dispensary. They carry over 20,000 professional grade supplements and skincare, body care items, other healthcare items from over 300 brands. Uh, you don't need a coupon code to access the discount. It applies to everything when you're checking out. I can't tell you the amount of the discount in a public forum. It's full scripts policy. But if you just click the link in the description box, you can see the discount right away. Also, when you're there, you can see lists of my favorite gut health and SIBO supplements and brands, the ones that I use and have used for years very successfully. Also, feel free to share the discount with your friends and family. They're welcome to use it as well.